Hey, buddy. Hi, guys, and welcome to Rufus and Dupus. Chico here, and Rufus is here. He's just wandering around. It's uh, rare, very rainy out today, kind of one of those depressing days, so he's kind of like, you know, half asleep, half awake, just uh, relaxing like he always does. But in any case, what am I doing today with two big pots in front of me? Well, I'm about to tell you. I don't know if you guys know or not, but in my day, uh, one of the many things I did was uh, go to culinary school and uh, own my own restaurant, and uh, I guess I'd call myself a chef. Uh, I was a pretty good one, too. But I still love to cook, and sometimes when you cook, you need special tools, you know, special things to cook with that seem to do a better job than, than anything else in the kitchen. And in this case, uh, it's going to be uh, cast iron cooking pots. In this particular case, these two things are Dutch ovens. And why do I have two of them? Well, I have two of them because I modified this one and I kept this one stock. I got another one because I like the way this one cooks so much. And uh, I wanted to share with you what I did. Now first, let me tell you what these are. These are uh, cast iron uh, Dutch ovens. And this is an eight quart, and this one's also an eight quart. Believe it or not, they're identical, except for the hack that I did, what I did to it. So why did I get this particular kind of Dutch oven? If you guys like to cook, you know that some of the Dutch ovens that they sell at uh, Macy's and um, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and things like that are very expensive and they're cutesy. You know, they've taken a product that was designed to be uh, abused and, and, and beaten and cooked well for centuries and then they kind of, you know, modernized it and made it all cute and fancy and ceramic coated and all kinds of stuff. Well, you know, those things go for 100, 200 bucks for those things. And uh, they don't do as good a job. And a lot of the times they're not as big, okay? And for sure they're not as heavy and constructed of the same thick uh, cast iron that's not, you know, finished to perfection. So these things are extremely heavy. I mean, this lid's probably 10 pounds, okay? And it's, it seals very tightly. Okay? And it's got a nice handle that you can pick the thing up. I mean, empty this thing is 20 pounds, you know? Now, what's nice about this? Well, it retains heat and distributes it very evenly. So you can put this over a gas burner or an electric burner and, and put your chili and stuff in here. Put your burners on, you know, medium or so, and it won't scorch. It holds the heat tremendously. You can turn it to low, and you can turn it into a slow cooker on your stove. But when you get one like this, that's meant for being cooked and on the, meant to cook on on coals and charcoal, they come with legs, and these legs keep the the pot off of the coals, and it keeps them from crushing them, and it it allows air to get in underneath and do the cooking. Okay, that's why it's got legs. And why does it have this ridge around the top? Well, the ridge around the top is to put more coals. So it almost acts like an oven in there. You can cook bread in this. You can cook biscuits in this. You can do all kinds of magic in this. And this lid is heavy duty. Not like that stuff you find at Bed Bath & Beyond and Macy's and Target and all that crap that you pay through the nose for. Where do they get these? I got them at Amazon, okay? And you know what? This one was like $49 and something. I think the shipping was free when I bought it back then. I got myself another one with the legs because I want to cook on a fire outside. And in order to do the cooking on coals, you need these legs, okay? They have to be there so that you get the air circulation. This one here was also $49.95, made by Texport. 8 quart, all right? So let me show you what I did to this one that you may want to do to your pot if you end up buying one or if you end up buying two. Now, what I did to this one is I went at it <coughs> with a grinder, all right? I took the grinder and I actually cut the feed off, all right? And I ground them down real nice and flat. Why did I do that? 
on a gas range or an electric range in your house, these feet will not sit properly on the burners. They'll also gouge up your stove and, and ruin your stove. So you say, well, at least you can put it in the oven. No, you can't. You can't put it directly on the bottom of the oven because you don't get the right cooking there. You have to be suspended up at least to the first level on the rack. All right. And when you do that, the feet fall through the rack. And if you use this outside on a rack, they fall through the rack there too. So guess what? It doesn't even work outside on a rack. These are meant to cook right in the fire. That's what they were designed for. Or to be hung from the handle from a tripod that you would hang over the fire. And we, we have one of those too. Now, cutting these off took me 10 minutes max. But you see, there's a little rust there and that's because I actually um, compromised the coating right there. Guess what? It may, it may be in a couple of million years, it might do something to the pot, but I doubt it. So after you wash them and such, they do get a little rust there and uh, I probably could have put a little oil on there and I wouldn't have done that, all right? But I just wanted to tell you what I did to this pot and how well it works for the things I make in it, like beef stew uh, or um, chilies, uh, things of that nature that require some long cooking. You can cook a chicken in here. Take a whole chicken, throw it in there, <clears throat> season it up with some roseberry, maybe some olive oil, throw some potatoes in there, maybe a quarter cup of water just to get some steam going, but you don't need it. Leave the lid on it, let it go on medium, or actually, uh, let's say between medium and, and low, uh, halfway between there. Let it go for seven, eight hours, check it every once in a while. Bingo, have you got some delicious chicken. It won't be brown on the outside, but it will be so, so good. And there are methods of browning it, but we're not doing cooking school here today. We're just showing you what I did with these pots that I got from Amazon. Now, you could probably get them locally, but Amazon had a good deal um, as compared to I've, uh, where, wherever else I've seen them. They've been 70 and 80 bucks just for one, which is still cheaper than the uh, Macy's and, and places like that. But I'll put a link below. If you guys are interested, take a look. Again, these are eight quart. Uh, they're made by TechSport. There's different manufacturers out there. Nothing fancy here, guys, but you know, in its own way, it has some appeal sitting on top of that stove. It just looks rustic. It looks like you're a, a cowboy kind of thing. And you know what? We're kind of nomadic, right? We all like that RV stuff, and this is great for the RV. A little heavy to be carrying around, but it's not the kind of pot that's going to fall apart on you or break or any uh, of those nasty things. does a great job on those campfires. Yes, indeed. And that heavy lid, it won't blow off. No way. So let me show you what you should get also if you do decide to get one of these pots somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. The lid's a little heavy. You need a way to get it off. And what are you going to use to get it off? One of these babies here. Yeah. Um, most of the places that sell a cast iron cookware have one. You just put that under there like that and bingo, you lift your lid. And you really should have one of these because that way you don't burn the hair on your arm. Yeah. And I know that women don't have on uh, hair on their arms. At least they shouldn't. But if you did, it would get burned off. So, all right, that's about it. What I've done to my cast iron pots, and I love them. Standard, modified. Sits about, oh, two inches, two and a half inches lower, and will not hurt your stove when it's sitting on top of it. Hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Right, Ruth? Sleeping soundly. Oh, makes a good weapon too. Whack!